crinkly not the best of me let me stop before i get copyrighted so this is what we're doing today is gonna be f1b30 now hear this f1b30 now the reason why i say that because i'm tired of when somebody uses color in their hair and it colored um extensions and then like they kind of whisper the color no f1b30 one black girl who's over 30. that's what that color stand for okay all right so i'm going to be showing you the, how my braid pattern is i did my regular circle halo in the back okay and then i braided let me stay right there okay i did my regular circle halo in the back and then i did this other braid in the front um here she go because i don't like when people waste time i'm gonna get right to the point um she is a little fuzzy at the top that was vanessa that's my um mannequin I say, everybody say hi to vanessa um i think it's actually now I look at it when i look at the opening i think it's actually like a little bit of a v-wig v-neck or whatever <laughs> um but whatever loop whatever um but anyways, before I put this on, just so you guys can see the hair texture, I think it's really cute. I feel like it's similar to Rainmaker that I had. Um, it's a little, like I said, it's a little bit fuzzy at the top. I don't like that. And then um, a little fuzzy at the top. So um, I had my coworker uh, gift me this baby straightener, which I'm gonna use in the front of my head. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh my God, it blends without, it really does. Like, honestly, like, the hair texture is A1, like you don't have to, but the humidity outside tells me I need to stop playing with everybody, including myself. Um, so I'm just gonna, Tresemme, ooh la la, let me stop <laughs> right at this. So um, I did, I did say that I was only gonna use a little bit of leave out and I feel like a lot of people don't understand, a lot of people don't understand like, yeah, you didn't have to sizzle like that. Oh, it's the sizzle for me. It's a sizzle for me. Okay. I know y'all hear it. It's like fresh eggs. <laughs> it's like fresh eggs. Now, as someone who doesn't use heat on her hair a lot, I could sit there and tell you this. Um, I could sit there and tell you this, that I'm allowed to do this. If you put heat on your hair every day, you are not, okay? This is a once in a lifetime, the blue moon, gotta get them babies. Okay, I'm using the tension method to straighten it. Okay. All right. I feel like I could have got the same results if I used like a, um, I feel like I could have got the same results if I used like a straightening comb or whatever. One of the hair straighteners, like it's like a brush texture. I feel like I could have got the same hair texture, but it's like a light. It's like a light. Like I'm not straightening my edges because y'all know I know how to edge. You know I know how to edge a hair down. I don't need all that. So I'm going to finish this piece. I'm going to let y'all hear it. I'm going to put it to the camera so you can hear it. Look, it sounds like a when that bacon pop you. <laughs> when that bacon pop you, it sounds just like that. Wait, wait, wait. One more. Ah, it's done. It's done. All right. All right. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to straighten the rest of the piece and then I'll be right back with y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. All right, so it looks like the cap is very generous for us big head, big head crew, what it do. Um, so there's combs in the front. There's combs in the front. So I'm probably gonna end up turning it to the side because just how my head's shaped, because that's what I was gonna tell y'all too. Um, just how your head's shaped, like you can really tell like what side of the, you're supposed to turn the hair on. Combs in the front, all right. So I'm gonna put it on this braid here, this braid section here. I'm so glad I got over my fear of straightening my hair. It'll be okay. If not, we know how to grow it back. But you see how like it's just naturally falling into the, um, it's naturally falling into it. Now it's giving very much Vegas showgirl right now. <laughs> so basically you wanna kinda just start fixing it in and like I said, if I can be honest with you, I probably would have been able to get away with, um, I probably been able to get away with just not having to straighten it. I probably could have got away with it. I honestly probably could. And I would have got away with it too. Um, but I probably could have got away with it, but like I'm a perfectionist and this is birthday hair. Everybody know about birthday hair, don't play. All right, so edge control. 
okay gonna go a little bit into there with it so let's start putting a little bit okay i'm gonna use this and then just kind of play with it a little bit like i said i've seen other videos of the reviews of this where people have cut it and i respect that because <laughs> i've seen people cut it because like i was like i respect that because like it's very big it's very very big like it's like big like vegas like your mama just did your hair type big so i kind of respect that so um i'm gonna put a little bit of even since my hair is straight i don't have to use as much straightener so just go through and just kind of play with it a little bit but um you know i'm trying to you see you see the looks it's already delivering do you see it <laughs> ain't nobody can blend like me who who so I'm going to fix it off camera. I know y'all hate it because y'all want to see all the secrets, but I cannot see on this camera. But this is pretty much it. It's about long. I can say it's probably going to last me. Um, not the background moving. I can say it's probably going to last. I want to say, I say it's probably going to last me right up until September. I think I have a month with it. So that's about September. That's about August, end of August, the beginning, almost Labor Day because just from how the curls are, I'm not going to play with them. I know some people brush them out, but I'm not going to play with them too much. But I will be back to show you the results. And then you guys can get a sneak peek. Well, not a sneak peek. It'll be after the fact. But you guys can see um, my Barbie theme 32nd birthday photo shoot. Um, I can definitely say I would recommend this hair. But I'll do a full review after I hook it up. Bye. First of all, I just want to let y'all know the wig already slapping. Um, they already giving compliments. I've only been outside for five minutes. Like y'all need to get this wig. Like it's not even. This not even me finishing it. This is literally. I'm going out the door. I have to go get my nails done. Um, the wig is already slapping. Like, can you imagine? I only dropped eighteen dollars on this. The wig already slapping. I already got three compliments already. Um, I just came back from Publix. Then they got out their car. Just said, "You are so stunning." I was like, "It's the wig, heartbreaker." You got the na, na, na. copyright, but um, I am in the neighborhood, so don't be trying to say I'm being irresponsible. But I just want to let y'all know the wig already slapped. I just want to let y'all see it in lighting. It's really cute. I haven't even hooked it up yet. This is literally I slapped it on. I got stuff to do today, um, but. Now, I said I was going to come back with the review. Um, hmm, I did sleep in her, so I cannot sit there and say too much. But <laughs> this is me slowly calming myself down. I'm counting on my fingers what I'm grateful for. And this is not even that big of a deal, but she already started acting up. Um, because I take such good, great care of my hair, Claire's hair did not want to straighten today. I straightened the front part and it curled right back up. And that was the first three times. So after that, I made my peace with it. I just gelled it down. Um, <clears throat> uh, I feel like it's the color. It has to be the color. One black girl over 30, it's gotta be the color because there was like certain pieces. It doesn't look that bad, but I'm a perfectionist. So don't mind me. But there's certain pieces that were a little bit rough at the root. So I went through and I brushed them down. Also, <laughs> just a little another thing. This hair does not like heat. Don't do that to yourself. But I know how to save you. Um, if you put if you put um got to be glue and then spray it on a roller and pin it up, the curl will come back. But um I wasn't ready there it is that's my good point is that i wasn't ready um i think in the future i could see myself trying just the one b and seeing if it's just texture thing user error maybe it's just me but overall i can tell you my overall score is a three out of five okay like i know i was like getting hyped because people was liking it but i didn't know there wasn't an extended warranty on the half wig and i feel like it's my fault i did sleep in it i was so exhausted from work yesterday well actually i didn't work but i was just exhausted from everything i had a busy day of running errands getting things ready for the photo shoot 
um, getting all my props. I almost forgot my props. I was just so tired, exhausted. Oh my God. Like there was just so much. We had a cupcake issue. <laughs> You'll see it at the end. But um, let's just say Claire is going to be resting for the rest of the day. Okay? Because I wasn't ready for this. Like I was even considering because I already bought like extensions for um, an upcoming trip. I was going to use those extensions because I am not an idiot. I buy my extensions in advance time. <laughs> Got to be smart. Um, to see for situations like this. And I just trusted so much. You know, a lot of mistakes were made. They were my mistakes. I fell asleep in it. Um, but like I said, for this, I want, I need it to hold up to Labor Day. I don't know if it is, okay? I might have to do a connector hairstyle like I've done before um, to get me to Labor Day because I'm not gonna fight the humidity, okay? I'm not gonna fight it. I've made my peace. I, I sat there and said I wanted to live in Florida. I made my peace with it, but um, I'm not gonna sit here every morning and fight humidity. If I'm gonna fight humidity like that, I'll just wear my actual hair out, you know? Um, but like I said, the color is really cute though. It really, really is gonna photograph very, very well. But I just wanna let y'all know before you got your feelings hurt, there is, it's, it's just the longevity of the color. So like I said, if you guys have used the black one, like the um, the 1B or just a one or even a four, leave that in the comments to let me know if it's just me, but I did sleep in it. And it is a, what they call a synthetica, but I've also slept in previous syntheticas and they have lasted, okay? It has been one four night, okay? And it's in one four night and it's already acting old. I need it to act brand new, okay? I need it to act brand new. It's already acting old. I'm not feeling it. Um, But if you're like me and you're one of those girls that if my hair not right, I'm not right, you'll understand the anxiety in my voice and the frustration in my voice. I sat there and spent a good, better half of the morning trying to reconcile the hair like I said, like I think it looks fine, but as someone who is known for being the blending queen, I can tell you it's not my best work, but one thing we don't do is hide our mistakes. So when you have your successes, I want that same energy in the ears. Um, but definitely for sure, I can tell you this right now, I wasn't ready for this, but um, divatrust.com is an amazing website not even not even 48 hours i think two days um the cap is really big i took the combs out in the front i didn't even realize that's why i had a migraine yesterday because like why do i have a migraine it was the combs in the front i took those out um it is big head friendly there's a lot of space in here this is literally at the front of my head and i don't have a wig headache for my big headers okay <laughs> for my big headers i don't know what we call them but y'all know what that feel like when they don't be making these wigs. they're making these time oh not y'all seeing my reflector but when they be making these tiny wigs, you know they can't fit or anything. So I really um, respect the fact that it did that. Um, this doesn't mean stop. Like I just really want these companies to make more. I just want these companies to just keep making more and more textures that look like our hair. Like, I don't know, we got a bag, we got to sign a petition or something. But I just want more and more um, options for us because I like the fact that, you know, if my hair was cooperative um this would have definitely just blended right on in but um she is not i don't straighten her and it shows why i don't straighten her okay i think i straightened her in my seven year journey one time that was for my little brother's wedding and literally all i did was i think it was like a week or two later they had to put some glue almost super glue like almost a helmet because my head was just not <laughs> My hair don't play, okay. She's like, oh, you want to be natural? Forever. And um, I can definitely say for certain that um, I, I would I would buy it again, but I'm not going to get the color anymore. I think I got Rainmaker with like a 99J, and then this one is Heartbreaker. Um, and I got this in a one black girl over 30. So I can definitely say... Um, 
Uh, I'm just frustrated right now, but definitely um, stay tuned for after the scene shots of my birthday shoot. And um, definitely happy birthday to me. Thank you.